Did you know that apple orchards, vineyards, and even ranches are all types of farms? Wait, really? Yeah, not all farms grow crops, and not all farms have livestock. <sighs> I wish I went to livestock. I heard that concert was awesome. I think you mean Woodstock, Gus. Oh, yeah. Livestock means animals on a farm. Damn. <laughs> Actually, Woodstock was on a farm, too. Wow, that's right. Actually, I think we need to move on and start the video. A farm is a section of land that is used to grow crops and sometimes even raise animals called livestock, not woodstock, Gus. Farmers are the people who grow these crops or raise the animals. Farmers work really hard and work very, very long hours. Farming and farmers are important for all humans on our planet. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are many different types of farming? Farms with land used to grow crops for food are called arable farms or arable land. A farm that is used for raising animals for food is called a pastoral life. Farms come in all different sizes from small to very large. You see, some farms are only for the people that live there, but then again, some farms, especially the large ones, sell their products to markets as well as other people. Hey, guess what? Did you know that farming has been around for nearly 10,000 years? The first farmers started by raising animals to help them to grow small crops as well as food. Over many years, people discovered what crops to plant and what animals to raise, depending on the area their farm was located. Before the 20th century, many, many American families actually lived on a small farm. They raised almost everything they ate and sold what remained of their crops and or livestock. Nowadays, there are much fewer farms, but the ones that are working produce more crops and livestock, which again, are the farm animals. This is because many advancements in the tools farmers use and in the way farmers grow crops, especially tractors, which help harvesting and planting. And the improvement of plant species and fertilizers has helped to increase the harvest of major crops like corn, soybeans, and wheat. Even livestock care and breeding increased due to advances in scientific research with the animals and how to take better care of them. Farmers who live in dry areas use artificial watering called irrigation, and we'll learn a bit more about irrigation soon. Some farmers use chemicals to help keep their crops free of pests and create a larger harvest of these crops. However, the use of some chemicals can harm people and even harm the environment. Because of this, some farmers do not use pesticides. These farmers are called organic farmers. Hey, guess what? When you think of a farm, many people think of cows. And did you know that one single dairy cow can produce 1,500 gallons or 6,000 quarts of milk in one year. It takes a farmer about 15 to 20 minutes to milk one cow, and they must do this about two or three times a day. Wow. And most likely, you probably drink your milk cold, but when the cow is milked, the milk from the cow comes out at about 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, guess what? Did you know that on a family farm, 
everyone must help to farm and do all the work. In the summer, adults are usually in the fields before the sun comes up and will stay out until the sun goes down, especially during harvest season. Children help as much as they can with chores like planting, weeding, harvesting, gathering eggs, and feeding the livestock. And many times people are hired to help with some of these chores, and those people are called field hands. About 100 years ago, one farmer could usually grow enough food to feed only a few people. But nowadays, farms can grow enough food to feed up to 100 people. And these farmers sell their produce and livestock to grocery stores, processing plants, farmers markets, and even farm stands. If you remember, earlier we mentioned that farms need irrigation. And that is because water has always been a major problem for farmers, whether it is too much or too little water. And for example, farms where there is lots of rainfall, well that can wash away rich soil, as well as small seeds and baby plants or even crops. And in very dry climates, farmers have to figure out how to get water to their plants. This is when farmers will use pipes and complicated sprinkler systems to get the water needed for their crops. Some of the major crops that are grown in the United States of America are corn, wheat, potatoes, soybeans, and sugar beets. Hey, guess what? Did you know that most of the fruits and vegetables consumed in the United States actually grow in California? And this is because of its fertile, rich soil and warm weather. Did you know that some people become farmers because they come from a family of farmers and have been passed down from generation to generation? For example, a father may pass down his knowledge of soil, animals, crops, and weather to his children. And this is why some farms have been around for many, many years. Some have even been around for hundreds of years. And they'll continue to pass down from one generation to the next. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about farming, farmers, and what farms are. Thanks for watching, and make sure you smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.